our first story this morning. And this is interesting because it's something that I have constantly asked the, the ASP when we have him, you know, is the TTPS overweight? Is the TTPS overweight? Now the Social and Welfare Association is claiming, the president is claiming that they're understaffed by about 1,400 officers, which, to be honest, it would not surprise me if that is the complete accurate truth. If that is, if, if that is completely fine and for him to say, because it's just par for the course with regards to how our public entities, I guess you could say, are managed. They're either understaffed or way over bloated and efficiency is just not necessarily a priority as opposed to other political considerations. And that includes internal office politics. I'm actually not entirely surprised. Uh, I, I share that with you. In fact, I believe him. Um, because, uh, listen, you have more brand new police vehicles mm. than police officers. Imagine that the Trent Tobago Police Service has a uh, Hilux. They have the uh, Santa Fe SUVs available at their disposal. And they actually have high-end premium cars. You don't have officers to actually fill these vehicles. Uh, in fact, the only time I see an, uh, more than two officers in a vehicle is when they go and make a food run, mm. right? And uh, the thing is, I'm not bashing the Trans Tobago Police Service because it's not necessarily their fault in terms of numbers. Because there well. needs to be a recruitment exercise as well. Now, if you're going to say, well, listen, if police officers are involved in poli other police officers' deaths, okay, that is a fact that took a... Well, um, that's that, one thing, but that, I was just saying, the, the recruitment and training, to some extent, is the responsibility of any organization, right? It's, it, this is not like the commission of police where you're talking about one role and an independent body is supposed to take care of that. Um, it's the fault, it is the fault of the police service, not the fault of the police officers. Right. Well, the, right, the institutions and the systems, the, the service, the academy, not the officers that are actually on the street, except, of course, so, for the situations where you see some bad apples and, and they make the, and they, you know, well, yeah. but cause you, the service to come in this room. When you ask the Minister of National Security, by the way, good morning, the Honourable Fitzgerald Hines, if you're watching Talking Points, you know how much we love you on this programme. Um, if you ask the Minister of National Security, if you ask the Commissioner of Police, what is your crime plan? You're not going to get any answer because mm. there is no crime plan, right? But the thing is, if by some miracle they were to come up with a plan, they don't necessarily have the resources from the, the human resource capacity to actually effectively carry out such plans. If 1,400 officers are missing, and just bear in mind, this is coming from the Social Welfare Association. So this is more or less the, the trans Tobago a police service, their, their union, yeah. right? So you have to take it with a pinch of salt. But again, I, I wouldn't be entirely surprised if this is the truth. The thing is, response time is affected. Yep. Investigations are affected. Yep. Dealing with any situation at all, and any urgent situation is affected. But beyond the shortfall of officers, another figure was in the report, and that included 330 officers. We're currently under suspension. So I understand it's supposed to be a few bad apples. And granted, technically speaking, 330 is but a few when compared to 6,491. 6, but 330 just in and of itself, this is not no small number, right? No, well, you see, I can look at it from two sides. One, I applaud the Trans Tobago Police Service for trying to get rid of the bad apples. Well, we don't necessarily right? know why they were suspended. No. I understand that. But again, we're going with face value because let's admit, reporting is not that great, right? The other view that I could take a look at is 330 officers on suspension. Okay, give us details, as my co-host just mentioned, as to why they are suspended. And at the same time, are they receiving their full salary while on suspension? For how long have these officers been on suspension? Because if you have an officer that's been on suspension for six months pending an investigation, so you mean to tell me a depleted Trans Tobago Police Service not only has to investigate their own officers, mm. but they also have to investigate these serious crimes taking place in Trinidad. If you take a look at the pages, Sean, uh, between last week, Friday, and today, it is plagued with home invasions. Yes. It is plagued with break-ins. In fact, one of the headlines literally was another home invasion. Right, and it's plagued with murders, people getting shot and killed, injured, 
you, you tr listen, Trinidad and Tobago is a paradise for crime and criminality. Right? Trinidad and Tobago is a paradise for crime and criminality. And I dare somebody to try and tell me otherwise. Right? It seems as though criminals have more freedom than the ordinary man on the street. Because they do whatever they want and they get away with it. The point is, if we have a depleted service that cannot deal with this situation, I, 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 I don't always take on uh, the, the Honourable Minister because he has no clue what he's saying or doing half the times. But quite frankly, if we have a depleted service and he's not open and honest with the people of Trans Tobago, he doesn't deserve to be uh, in that position at all. My, my final thing is we to all say... Know that is to say that senior leadership of the police service, they, they're, they're caught in a rock and a, rock and a hard place, I understand. You know, you can't say doom and gloom, but it's similar to what we see out of the government, out of like the Minister of Finance. You can't give us messages of positivity, then acknowledge that there are issues. And because we're basically caught in the middle of which one, which one is the truth? Are things going well or are things not going well? The shortfall of officers, I think, is no small issue. Um, and, that, and then when you add, when you add the suspensions on top, on top of that, so you're looking at 17 to 1800 very, of a shortfall, very, operationally. Very quickly, let me just state my final point. Is Ule Edward Christopher has to address this. As much as she wants to speak and, 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 and you know, say spirituality is needed, right? Yes, spirituality is needed. Officers are also needed in those stations and in those vehicles to respond to these um, instances of crime and investigate it. She needs to address this and failure to do so will be a big failure on her part. And need I say possibly a, a, a stain. This is a situation uh, 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 that is absolutely detrimental and they haven't been open and honest and with us. It seems as though training is the problem. Now, I don't necessarily know if there's a bottleneck at the academy or what's going on, but this seems to be something that she could sort out in relatively short time. I'm not saying she could sort it out tomorrow, but it's, it's not necessarily something like a long-term problem that crime overall is, right? This seems like something that she can get sorted out to deal with the manpower issues. It's not about just getting more and more and more and more officers recruited and trained. It's about getting the quality. proper... Quality, yes, but the proper levels of manpower. So then because we don't want the TTPS to be all of a sudden turned into a jobs program that's over as well. Well, that, that is what it is and what it has become. So well, what is the quality of the current so, police service so, or police force so that's available to what us? What you're saying is about 1,400 short... 300 plus suspended, and then however many within the actual ranks that are just there to collect a check. So the shortfall might be over 2,000 on a practical level. 